Rosie and the Pre-Loved Dress by Leanne Hatch. One afternoon, Rosie went with her mother to drop off donations at the local thrift shop. As Rosie rummaged through the racks of gently worn, pre-loved clothing, something caught her eye. Nestled between a fuzzy wool sweater and a faded flannel shirt was a dress. But not just any dress. One that sparkled and shined. It was magical. It would soon belong to Rosie. Rosie could not wait to try on the new-to-her dress. When she unbuttoned the back, she discovered a name handwritten on the inside label. Mila. Who was Mila? wondered Rosie. Who was the girl who wore the dress before her? She imagined meeting Mila. What would they laugh about together? Did Mila also like tortilla chips in her tuna sandwich? Did she also like purple nail polish? Did she too like skateboarding in mismatched socks? And origami? Maybe Mila was a trapeze artist soaring through the air. Or an ice princess gliding on a frozen lake. Maybe she became a mermaid with a shimmery fishtail when she touched the water with her toes. Rosie wore the dress every day. Occasionally, Rosie even imagined herself soaring through the air, gliding across the ice, or flipping her tail deep in the ocean. Until the day the dress fit more like a top, no matter how much she pulled it down, and the sequin trim was scratchy in ways it had never been before. Until the day Rosie outgrew the dress. She tried it over pants, as room decor, and modern art. She tried it on her giant stuffed draft, too. Before deciding that it was someone else's turn to love the dress just as much as she did. Rosie got out a permanent marker, then carefully wrote her name on the label next to Mila's. She thought about the memories she had made while wearing the dress. She thought about how Mila had also had her own memories. Even though Rosie was sad to let it go, she knew that her favorite dress had many more memories to make. So Rosie and her mother returned to the thrift store to make a very special donation. Before leaving, Rosie searched the racks once again, only to discover the most magical, pre-loved purse. The end.